uh, created this drill, fixed the, the number one problem that kids have when they hit, and that's pulling off the baseball. Pulling off the baseball generally comes from conscious thoughts of trying to pull the ball, trying to hit a home run, a lack of confidence in the swing. It can also be caused from overswinging. Just take a glove, I've got a first baseman's glove here, but you can use pretty much any glove you want. Just place a glove open on the top of your head, like so. You can use tee, toss, anything you like, front toss. You should be able to still swing, keep your head still, and the glove will stay on the hat, but if the hitter pulls his head off the ball, the glove's gonna fall off. Good indicator for you as parents and coaches who can watch the glove to fall off the head, which will end up with that shoulder flying off the ball. Well, if the player is pulling their head and shoulder off the ball, just make sure that they're getting into a good lower half position because if their foot gets stuck in the ground and they don't rotate on the hips and the back foot, what will generally happen is they fly open with the front shoulder and the head will fly off the ball. A couple of swings where the player's gonna pull his head off the ball and you'll see the outcome of that. You can see when I dip my head or pull my head off the ball, the glove will come off the head and it'll be an indicator that the player is not keeping his head still throughout contact. Minimizing movement with the head, keeping the eyes on the ball at contact and even after contact and just hitting the ball backspin back up the middle. So right there, it's a line drive up the middle, the head still, the glove stays on the head. You can still get some pop on the ball when you keep your head still. Just go with your hips and your hands. You don't need a lot of movement in the swing to generate power. Tell the kids to, to keep the head on the ball is to one, relax. Two, watch the ball into the bat. Three, uh, keep the head down after contact. And number four, probably most importantly, uh, focus on driving the ball back up the middle or to the opposite field. This will make them let the ball get deep and they'll be less likely to fly open and they'll stay through the ball a bit more.